Hello everybody. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to have a bonus assignment. We've been looking at uh, the Jamestown colony and I very briefly mentioned a previous attempt by the Eng English to settle and start a colony in the United States and that was Roanoke. So for today we're going to practice using our inferencing skills uh, looking at evidence and trying to come up with an idea of what we think happened. So today we're going to read together Roanoke Island, the town that vanished. It was early morning, August 18th, 1590, and John White's ship had just reached Roanoke Island. Three years had passed since he had left the struggling colony on the island. Now White was finally back. He raced up the beach desperate to see everyone again. When White reached the colony, his heart sank. Everyone was missing, including his daughter and granddaughter. White searched for clues in the abandoned town. The colonists' boats were missing. Their homes were gone. Worries filled White's mind. Were the Roanoke settlers alive or dead? What happened to them? Why would a group of people from England want to live on a tiny island across the Atlantic Ocean thousands of miles from home? For Europeans in the 1500s, exploring the world meant a chance to find treasures. They hoped to build colonies and discover natural resources such as gold that could make them rich. Both Spain and England wanted to start colonies in new lands. The two countries were rivals. By the late 1500s, Spain had many colonies in South America and in the southern part of North America. Leaders in England wanted to compete with Spain. They planned to set up a colony on the eastern coast of North America on Roanoke Island. In 1585, ships carrying 108 Englishmen sailed to Roanoke Island. Most of the colonists were soldiers. They built homes and a fort on the island. One of the colonists, however, was an artist. John White. His job was to draw pictures of the different Native American groups that lived in the area. These groups included the Ro Roanokes and the Croatoans. At first, the colonists and the Native Americans got along. The English soldiers weren't prepared to grow their own crops, so the Roanokes gave them food to eat. However, the Roanokes soon ran out of food to give. As a result, Tension grew between the Native Americans and the colonists. Soon, the two groups became enemies. The Roanoke colonists were running extremely low on supplies, so in 1586, most of them sailed back to England. Eighteen English soldiers stayed on the island to guard the fort. Leaders in England still wanted to build a permanent colony in North America, however. John White, who had been part of the first colony, helped form a new group of settlers. He became this group's governor. White's plan was to settle on the coast of present-day Virginia, about 100 miles north of Roanoke Island. On their way, the settlers would pick up the 18 soldiers left behind on the island. On May 8, 1587, the second group of settlers left England in three ships. The dangerous trip across the Atlantic Ocean took almost three months. Finally, in July 1587, John White's group arrived at Roanoke Island. They expected to meet with the 18 English soldiers at the fort. However, when the colonists came on shore, they saw that the fort had been destroyed. The soldiers' homes were untouched, but all the men were gone. The only signs of soldiers was a single skeleton lying in the dirt. The situation only got worse from there. The captain of the lion refused to take the colonists for, to Virginia. The settlers were stranded on Roanoke Island. Disaster strikes. The colonists did their best to survive on Roanoke Island. They planned to start building some homes, but it didn't take long before disaster struck. One day, an English settler named George Howe was alone on the beach looking for crabs to cook and eat. A group of Roanoke warriors spotted him. The warriors wanted revenge for the killing of their chief by the earlier colonists. The Native Americans shot several arrows into Howe's body. He was killed instantly. When John White found out about Howe's death, he tried to make peace with the Roanokes. Unfortunately, the Native Americans refused to talk with him. White and the other settlers were afraid. Would the Roanokes try to attack and kill them too? Help! The colonists were growing desperate. 
they worried about a Roanoke ambush. In addition, their food supply was running low. There was also a new member of the colony to feed and protect. On August 18th, White's daughter gave birth to a girl. The baby, named Virginia Dare, was the first English baby born in the New World. The Croatones could not provide food for the colony, so the settlers would need help from England if they were going to survive. They begged White to return to England and bring back food and other supplies. On August 27, 1587, just five weeks after arriving at Roanoke, White left. He promised to return in six months. Unfortunately, White went back to England at the worst possible time. Spain and England were at war. The two countries fought many battles at sea. English leaders ordered that all ships had to be used to help the battle the Spanish. There were no ships left to bring supplies to Roanoke. White searched for someone who would take him back to Roanoke. Finally, in 1590, almost three years after he had left the island, White met a group of English privateers who agreed to take him there. It was his only chance. He loaded the ship with supplies and left for Roanoke, hoping to see his family again. In March, or in August 1590, the English privateer ship reached the seacoast near Roanoke. White and several members of the ship's crew got into a small boat and rowed toward the island. As they rowed, the crew sang songs to get the attention of the colonists on land. There was no response. The group reached shore on the morning of August 18th, Virginia's third birthday. White eagerly looked for his family. He found no one, but saw mysterious clues. The colonists' boats and homes were gone. There were fresh footprints in the dirt. The letters C-R-O were carved into the bark of a tree. Nearby, the word Croatone was carved in a wooden gatepost. However, there was no cross carved anywhere. And I'm going to zoom in and look at this. Because there was no cross carved into the tree or the gatepost, White believed the settlers had not been attacked. He thought perhaps they had safely left the colony to get help from their friends, the Croatones. So what happened? The Croatones lived on an island 50 miles south of Roanoke called Croton Island. The privateers agreed to sail to the island so White could look for the missing colonists. On the way, however, a powerful storm prevented the ship from getting close to land. The ship was in danger of sinking. The privateers decided to return to England, taking White with them. White was devastated. He spent the rest of his life trying to return to North America, but he never made it back. What had happened to the colonists? Historians still don't know. However, they have theories. Some historians think the Roanokes may have killed the colonists. Others think the colonists tried to sail to Croatone Island or even back home to England. Their ship may have sunk and all the colonists drowned. According to another theory, a Spanish ship sailing by the coast of North America could have spotted the English colony. Since England and Spain were at war, the Spanish sailors may have killed the settlers. Some historians have another theory, that the colonists split up and left Roanoke Island in several groups. The colonists were probably weak from lack of food. They were also afraid of being attacked by the Roanokes. They needed some help. Some may have gone south to live with the Crotones. Others may have gone west or north to find another group of friendly Native Americans to live with. There's a legend that John White's granddaughter, Virginia Dare, lived with the Crotones and grew up to be a beautiful woman. When she refused to marry a Crotone with magical powers, he turned her into a white deer. In 1607, another group of English settlers made its way across the Atlantic Ocean. This group formed the colony called Jamestown in the present-day state of Virginia. The Jamestown settlers heard stories from Native Americans that the Roanoke colonists had survived. Years later, Colonists also heard reports of Native Americans with light gray eyes and blonde hair, just like some of the Roanoke colonists had. These could have been children of the lost colonists had with Native Americans. Ocean. Still looking for clues. Unfortunately, no one knows for sure what happened to the lost colonists. None of the theories have been proven yet. Yet, the search still continues. Today, archaeologists dig on Roanoke Island and other sites to look for items left behind by the settlers. 
the things that the archaeologists find may help them learn more about what became of the colonists. Over hundreds of years, some areas of Roanoke Island have been washed away by storms and ocean waves. Because of this erosion, a small part of the colony's original site may be underwater. However, archaeologists have been able to find some objects buried in the sand and the ocean. Today, people can visit Roanoke to learn about the abandoned colony. A museum on the island shows how English colonists and Native Americans lived long ago. Visitors can also watch the play called The Lost Colony. In it, actors tell the story of the journey John White and the other settlers made to North America. More than 400 years after the disappearance of the colonists, people are still fascinated by the mystery of what happened on Roanoke Island. I'm going to pause here. So, your bonus assignment. Uh, I'm going to have a link to this book. I will also obviously have this video in uh, the assignment, but based on the evidence that you saw and based on what we read, what do you think happened to Roanoke? Were they all killed? Did they go and live with another tribe? Do you think they may have tried to go back to England? Do you think the Spanish did it? Do you think maybe they split up? Or do you have your own theory? In the document that I've given you, I want you to tell me what you think happened to Roanoke and why. What is your theory? What is your educated guess? And what evidence, what did we read, that helped you to come to that idea? So this is for bonus for ELA slash social studies. Good luck, and I look forward to reading your theories.